careful now. Don't get your clothes wet. Hey, it's you! I didn't expect to see you here in the administrative district. How have you been lately? Great to hear. Since the Stellaron crisis subsided, Bellabog's been feeling a little more cheerful. We're really grateful for your assistance. And yes, things are going well for me, too. Thanks for asking. You spent so much time in Bellabog on your last visit. You must have passed by here before, right? This is Bellabog's History and Culture Museum, built more than 600 years ago. Last time you visited, it was closed for its 10-year renovation. Now that the Stellaron Crisis is over, we've been able to allocate more manpower to the renovation works. The museum should be open to the public again soon. It's just... We encountered a problem during the renovation process. The Silvermane Guards are doing all they can to figure it out. I... <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't talk about it in the open like this. Hey, why don't I give you a tour of the museum? We can talk inside while I show you around. If you have time, that is. Great! What are we waiting for? Welcome to Bellabog's History and Culture Museum. As you can see, after nearly a hundred days of renovation, the interior looks brand new. However, there's a problem that needs to be resolved before it can open to the public. The museum was established nearly 600 years ago as a memorial to honor Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, and the martyrs who gave their lives in the battle against the invaders from beyond the sky. As time went on, new exhibits were continually added to the memorial until it became the museum we see today. Past the reception hall, you'll find the general hall, the museum's largest exhibition room. There are all sorts of exhibits on display, paintings by famous artists, samples of the planet's crust. Visitors can experience the essence of Bellabog's culture in just a few minutes' time. I really hope the museum can open up soon. The children here need a culturally enriching environment, especially those from the underworld. But like I mentioned earlier, we're in a bit of a bind. We could really use a helping hand. Here, this is the issue we're trying to deal with. It was stolen. It was one of the oldest and most precious items in the General Hall collection, the Meteor Fragment. It is said that 700 years ago, the invaders from beyond the sky descended upon the surface of Urillo 6 with a meteor shower. The meteor fragment is solid evidence that those invaders once tainted our land. <clears throat> Sorry, the tour guide in me gets a little carried away. I'm not here to give you a history lesson. Still, it's no exaggeration to say that if the meteor fragment isn't recovered, the museum will lose half of its significance. Not yet. That's why this case is such a conundrum for the Silvermane Guards. Truth be told, the Meteor Fragment isn't the only item that was stolen, but we want the museum to open as soon as possible. We can worry about the other missing items later. Of course! I wouldn't ask you to start a whole investigation from scratch! The guard station in the Underworld reported that some suspicious characters have been meeting at a hideout in the Great Mine late at night. Since the Silvermane Guards are still getting situated in the Underworld and we don't have any direct evidence, we haven't been able to apprehend any suspects. But if you were to go there yourself and ask around, I think we could gather a lot of useful intel. So, would you like to help solve this case? Excellent. Just as I expected. Short, sweet, and decisive. To the underworld it is, then.
The conditions here are so... rudimentary. I wonder how long those people have been living here. Back to the investigation. We contacted an agent from Wildfire. Apparently she has some first-hand intel. I think her name was... Sweta? Yes, that's right. Let's go pay her a visit. What? Oh, it's you! Oh, I thought I'd been discovered! Let's try not to make a commotion. You never know who's listening. That bad, huh? How many exhibit thieves are there? A lot. I don't know if you're aware, miss, but any intel that makes money spreads like wildfire in the underworld. Travel between the overworld and the underworld has been open for some time, but not everyone down here can take advantage of that opportunity. The majority of Underworlders have to stay here to feed their families. From what I hear, smuggling museum artifacts is a lucrative enterprise. <laughs> if I wasn't working for Wildfire, I'd be tempted to get in on the cash myself. You aren't getting any funny ideas, are you? <sighs> I'll cut to the chase. Wildfire hasn't identified the ringleader yet, but I've heard some interesting rumors that might be helpful to you. I'm all ears. Firstly, the group in question has a very public presence. They post recruitment notices all over the street. If you can find a notice, you might be able to glean some clues from it. Secondly, they're rash and careless in their work. They've been seen carrying large crates of illicit goods around the mines and selling them out in the open, without even trying to hide anything from the miners. Thirdly, I heard there are children in the mines that might be involved. I haven't had the chance to look into it, but keep an eye out. Hmm, I see. Thanks for the intel. I'm sure it'll help us crack the case. Well, I'm going to head for the settlement and see if I can get more intel from the locals. In the meantime, do you think you could head out and look for more clues? We can compare notes when you're done. I'm counting on you. My daddy made a lot of money this month. He bought me lots of new clothes. Things you can't even find in the underworld. <laughs> clothes schmoge. My daddy bought me a super rare present. He got me a model tram. Bet you haven't seen one of those before. That costs way much more than boring clothes. Sounds like their parents bought them expensive gifts recently. If people in the underworld want to get rich, what options do they have? This is noteworthy. Empty. These crates were probably used to store stolen items. Someone left robots to guard them. Looks like I'm too late. Let's look elsewhere. The three rumors to what I talked about I'll check out. Time to meet back up with Pela. Oh good, you're back! Did you find any critical intel? I see. Looks like someone is getting the miners involved in the stealing after all. I made some progress too. The miners here said they've noticed some people acting strange recently. A few vagrants who almost never leave the Great Mine have suddenly started making trips to Boulder Town. I asked the Silvermane Guard Station there to go investigate some places of interest. I hope they find something... Hey! We've got some news! What a stroke of luck! I didn't expect to get a break in the investigation so quickly! Come on, let's go to the Gerda Grand Hotel! I hope this isn't some sort of cover-up operation. 
This must be the box. Let's open it. Let's see. The color, the texture. Yep. This is the stolen meteor fragment, all right. Fantastic. I've done a lot of research into artifact authentication techniques. You can trust my judgment. I understand why you're suspicious, though. This whole investigation was a little too easy. In any case, now that we have the meteor fragment, the museum can now open to the public. That's good news. As for trekking down the thief, I'm afraid it'll be a long-term project. When the time comes, we may need your assistance again. Let's go. We need to take this item back to the museum where it belongs. Now the General Hall can return to its former glory. Thanks for your help. The Meteor Fragment. It's so majestic. The value of items housed here can't be measured in money alone. But this little piece of stone could fetch a mountain of cash. The General Hall is ready to open to the public again. Oh, by the way, the museum's previous manager resigned recently to pursue his dream of becoming a writer. So, if you're interested, do you think you'd like to take up the post part-time? I promise you it won't be a boring job. So that's a yes? <laughs> Great! Now that that's settled, Let's go pay a visit to the museum lobby secretary, Eris. She's a talented worker and can tell you everything there is to know about museum matters. <laughs>